Hey there, everybody, and welcome to a, uh, whatever you want to call this. A quarantine edition of <laughs> catch-up, I guess. Yeah, since, uh, there's not a whole lot going on otherwise, we've been watching a lot of streaming things recently, and, um, we've been doing these little watch parties with our friends. Um, we've been watching some really interesting films, and, um, we have just a handful of films to talk about today, um, streaming-wise, uh, Field Guide to Evil. How did we How did we end up watching that? Who? It was on. Um, Is that a rental or? No, it was on Hulu. It's free on Hulu. Field Guide to Evil. That's a pretty good one. It's a. Yeah. Um, if you like anthologies. If you like anthologies, but also like kind of slow burn movies or more. Yeah. Artsy. Not yeah. Not necessarily pretentious, but some people will probably <laughs> find these a little more pretentious. I didn't. I didn't necessarily think they were. They were. I mean. They all kind of fit, fit the same feel, um, so I thought it was a pretty successful. Yeah, movie. yeah. Not My a, favorite shirt was the last one, actually. Yeah, that was the most interesting visually, for sure. It was kind of like a modern twist on like a silent film, kind of. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. It was really, in, yeah. I liked that one a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for an anthology, it's a newer one that maybe you haven't seen. Um, Let's see, what else have we seen recently? We watch, <laughs> we watch what everybody is watching lately. Um, Tiger King, <laughs> which isn't a horror, but I mean, like, it's kind of a real life horror, maybe. Yeah, everybody's uh, talking about it recently, but it's a really interesting show. Gives you kind of like all the different sides of the craziness of the big cat world in the United States and kind of how, like, there really are no good guys. <laughs> Just when you're like, oh, you're not so bad. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's just, it keeps getting worse and trashier. And just it's spiral. Just, it's <laughs> just, out of control. <laughs> it, it's definitely a train wreck kind of an experience. And, it, you know, it, it, uh, the, some of the people are so charismatic that uh, you kind of feel for them even though they're nuts. <laughs> and causing all these problems. But, uh. Yeah, very interesting show. Yeah, it's fascinating. If you have Netflix and like watching documentaries, check that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, we also saw The Platform, which is a Spanish film. Um, that was on... What was that, on Shutter? I don't remember. We'll figure it out and put it in the bottom. No, it was on Netflix. It was yeah, on Netflix. Netflix. Um, the Platform is a Spanish language film as, as well, so you do have to read. But um, I love this movie. Yeah. This was... A, very pleasant surprise. Um, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever with this. But then when I started getting into it, you know, I could get to see the whole experience of the film. Um, it's a very abstract, surreal kind of yeah. experience. Um, but it's also, uh, it's not so abstract that it's not enjoyable. Like, oh, uh, no. The no. main premise of it is very easy to grasp. Uh, the main plot of the movie is that there are these people in this towering building. There's just rooms stacked on top of each other with a hole in the center. And then from the top to the bottom, this platform slowly moves down like an elevator from each floor. But uh, the platform is full of food. And so the idea is that, he, that the, the top's only supposed to take this, this, just what they need and pass it on down below. But of course, nobody does that. And it's, uh, it's, it's a very nihilistic, dark kind of movie. Um, uh, very much uh, a commentary on capitalism. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. It was very appropriate for last night. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's, I definitely, definitely recommend yeah. the platform if you like uh, more obscure kind of. Yeah. Things. Um, and it was there was lots of there was lots of gross bloodiness in it too. Cannibalism. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, people eating dogs. <laughs> got a little bit of every kind of grossness <laughs> in it. It's a very gross movie, but yeah. it's, it's uh, not too gross, but it's no. uh, definitely up there. Um, I think that's all we've seen recently since we filmed one of these just a couple days ago. <laughs> Mostly we had like random shit we wanted to show you. Um, and talk about like what we're filming, I guess. Uh, we're filming another cocktail episode today. Or filmed another cocktail episode today. We'll be doing another Theo and Ashley episode yes. after this since Laura has a surprise for me, although I can see it on the floor now. But, uh, and then I guess we're gonna recork the bottles and do the surprise again. <laughs> so, for Theo and Ashley. No, so. I haven't. I mean, Ashley would have already started drinking. See, that's them. what I was thinking. Yeah, too. so. 
Yeah, we'll, um, we'll put a link below if you're interested in the Dio and Ashley show. And the cocktail episode is Snakes on a Plane. Look at this sneaky, sneaky snake. He's so cute. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's your hat. <laughs> um, also, King of the snakes. because last time we did mermaid treats, or just mermaid treat. I <laughs> we did mermaid treat. <laughs> we did it good. So I'm like, I need to do unicorns. So I saw these um, fruit roll-ups first, and they're just regular fruit roll-ups, but they have a tongue tattoo on them. So I'll do a tongue tattoo because why not? I'll probably do a real tattoo too. That was on this. I just didn't want to bring all of the pudding snacks yeah. in here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna save that one, but I'm gonna wear that one. Unless you want one. Ooh, this one's rainbow. Last night's was just red. Blank. Yeah, I know. Wait, does this not have tattoos on it? What a rip off. My other one did. Well, it's just a rainbow. I mean, it's pretty, but there's no tongue tattoo. I guess I'm gonna have to unroll another one and wrap this back up. It's so stupid. It's just only, only the red ones, I think. But how do you tell which one's what? Cherry orange ones. Strawberry, probably. Okay, it must be the strawberry ones. Let's try this again. This is fascinating television, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I'm terrified of snakes. This is I'm getting, snake, I'm so. getting better, but I am sorry. Okay, there's the tattoos. Wait. Ah. Okay, which one should I do? I'll just do the cute little unicorn. Okay. okay. Get your phone ready so we can take a picture. Yeah, we'll take a picture. So the other thing we got, you know, sugar, sugar, and more sugar, what you need to survive the apocalypse. <laughs> These, uh, which I was disappointed. I mean, I'm not that disappointed. It was exactly what I figured. I'm curious if the blue tastes any different because I tried the pink one a couple days ago or yesterday. I don't know. But uh, it's just cotton candy flavored. What but did it, you think it was gonna be flavored? I don't know. It was it was pink and blue. And it's unicorn. Everything, it should taste like a unicorn. Everything that so it should taste like horse farts. <laughs> okay, companies out there, make your make your unicorn stuff taste like horse farts. Because it's not it's not the appropriate horse level of flavor. Well, I wasn't disappointed. I just like was hoping. Every every freaking unicorn thing. It's is always cotton candy. It should taste like Rainbow fruit or something. Grass. Feed. I think I'm gonna put this tattoo on it. Cause it came, the biggest thing is it came with two unicorn tattoos. Cause I'm 12 and I need unicorn tattoos. Um, well, I mean, people who are buying this stuff, it's usually for people who are the age of 12. Well, yeah, but I am. <laughs> Did 
you wet your hand first? No, you wet you wet it after. I know how to do that too. But anyways, how about you try the blue one and see if it also just tastes like cotton candy, which I'm assuming it probably does. It's it's kind of tasty. It's just pudding. It's kind of cotton candy. Any flavored. I like your makeup today, by the way. It just tastes like cotton candy. Yeah, I figured. Or it just tastes like vanilla pudding. Cotton candy, though, I, had, I, yeah, I don't know what it is. No, what is it? Because I know it's just sugar, but it does. It has a very distinct flavor. I don't know why. We're good. But it just doesn't really taste like anything for sure. Yeah, so yay, unicorns. <laughs> oh wait, let's see if my phone. We'll show you the tattoo at the end. Uh, <laughs> so the last thing, which is why we have wine glasses. Oh, you found the good opener. Yeah, I done told you that. So before everything went into lockdown, we went to the what was it? It was just Tim and Eric mandatory, mandatory tour, tour, right? Um, Where everybody got the points. Which were like huge fans of Tim and Eric, if you haven't like noticed. Because yeah. like, I mean, obviously. <laughs> but anyways, so we got to see them live. And we did the Q&A before. And I realized that Eric Querheim actually has a wine line. And I'm like, ooh, that would be kind of fun. I'm like, is, it's the apocalypse. Are they still delivering wine? And apparently they are, so. <laughs> At least right now. I don't know if that's the case still. Because I'm kind of surprised. I'm guessing it came out of California. And they're locked down just like we are. But, um, so, yeah. So, the first one is, like, their main one, I guess. And it's called glue glue, which I guess means glug glug. I don't know if there's any Tim and Eric thing behind that. I don't remember them saying glue glue, but it's been a while. Anyways, we'll try this one. But the the other one is like the reason I bought the wine. I'm gonna bet I know what flavor it is. <laughs> Speaking of, they have a new, we got to see one episode, which actually wasn't the first episode. Um, beef House. Beef House. And those are available, like, all, I think all of Tim and Eric's stuff, like, including... Um, it depends. Do they have it depends. Tom Goes to the Mayor? I'm not sure, because I think some things are on Hulu, and some things are on the app. So okay. It depends. But they have Hulu. And the Adult Swim app. Well, the Adult Swim app is free. So you don't have to pay yeah, the Adult Swim app is great. And the Beef House shows, at least the first episode is on there. I know for sure because the Instagram said Let's so. Let's be pret pretension and pretension, pretentious and sniff the cord. <laughs> you're actually not supposed to do that, by the way. I know, you're not. Do you want to okay. sniff it anyway? No. Sniff the cord. It's not My like ass. wine. <laughs> Let's just use one glass for one kind and one glass for the other kind. Okay. And then we'll just take a quick sip because we're going to do another video in a second. Okay. Yeah. The first thing you do with a fine wine is just swivel it in the glass to unlock the palate of aroma. Yes, it goes really well with the unicorn pudding too. <laughs> it's going to move the pinky up. <laughs> Yeah, it's drier than I like, but, but it's, it's pretty it's good for pretty a dry. It's pretty sweet for it. It's pretty sweet and tart for a I dry know. red wine. It's pretty good. I have a sweet tooth when it comes to wine. Um, I'm I <laughs> Okay, but the the real treat. If you watch any of like the Tim and Eric stuff, <laughs> you fucking know what's coming, guys. <laughs> if you if you know anything about Tim and Eric, and if you like Steve Brule, oh my God, Brule. 
Rolls Royce. I'm gonna guess. Is it sweet berry wine? It is <laughs> sweet berry wine. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's cool. We'll take a photo. Of yeah, we'll yeah, have to do awesome. a close up. Got a wax on the top. Mm -hmm. Exciting television look. It's so exciting. I'm curious, like, how many, like, is there like one of our watchers that even knows what Tim and Eric is? I know Adrian and Tamara watch some of our stuff and they're fans. That's probably about it. Else is probably like Tim I need and Eric. to call Ooh. Steve Rules to help, help me open this sweet berry wine open wax. <laughs> there we go. I should get the kiss. Yes, I got it. Well, I guess while you're doing that, I can reveal my magical unicorn tattoo. Actually, I turned on really well. Magic. Take a picture, Joe. Yeah. Sweet berry wine. This is like the worst YouTube channel ever. Or the best. I don't know. What are we? We're just uh, we're just a shitty what's your name rip off, right? <laughs> shitty uh, homicidal homicidal. Homicide. Like, she's awesome. Go check her out too if you like what, anything. If you like what we do and you don't know who that is. Well, especially well specifically if you like Ant Gore horror movie cocktails yeah. with Ant Gore. Check she, out hom homicidal homemaker. She makes all kinds of spooky, gooey stuff mm -hmm. that's fun to eat. But definitely go oh, check yeah. her out. She, her channel. She's way better than I am. I don't know what I'm well, doing. I mean, <laughs> every channel on YouTube is better than our channel. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? It's our channel. We do what we want. We'll do what we want. I can't get this fucking thing out of here. <laughs> oh yeah. Pop it. Okay, give me the little thing. I'm so excited. No, we're doing different things. Okay. Did you smell the quirk? No. It smells like quirk. A little swivel to unlock the palate. I do quite find it quite hilarious that alcohol and pot are both necessities hmm. in the apocalypse. It's nice and tart. So that's really good to know, but I'm glad those will always stay open, no I, matter what the crisis is. I think, though, honestly, you're going to say that the sweet berry wine could be a little sweeter. <laughs> is it not sweet enough? It's good. I like it. It's nice and tart. No, it's not too bad, but you're right. It's not It's not sweet enough for sweet berry wine. But it's very, it's, it's very tart. It's very good. Um, it would be... No, that's really good, actually. Um, we should talk about how we're probably going to do Trash Peaks as a live thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to, I got to test this one too. Um, yeah. Coming up next week, at some point, there will be the finale of Trash Peaks. But not just the finale. We're actually we're just, just going to post the whole thing the together. The entire thing as one full movie. It's about an hour and ten minutes, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um... So, and we'll do, because I can do the premiere on YouTube, so I can chat on YouTube. So, like, if that's interesting at all to you, check that out. And it will have extra stuff, too, besides just the episodes. We filmed a little extra. Yeah, um, so Foreign. in the episodes, every episode, the theme song at the end, um, in the full-length version, the, the end theme... But it's a full song with lyrics and everything. Yeah. So the full end theme is only in the movie version. And then there's an extra little haha -ha joke, tiny little haha -ha joke at the end. Yeah. That's on at post credits. Yeah. Thank Disney for that, for making that a thing that needs to be in everything. You mean praise Disney, yeah. our Lord and Savior. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Um, that's coming up. That'll be uh, next Thursday, probably. Yeah. Your cocktail episode will be the week after. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we want to do it in April. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. So we'll probably yeah we'll probably go ahead and post that next Thursday. I don't know what day this is that this is posting. So. Yeah. Whatever the next Thursday is now from this episode, we'll probably post this tomorrow. 
Yeah, tomorrow or, or Saturday, maybe. But yes, uh, look forward to that and um, more stuff coming from us soon. Uh, yeah, we're going to try, try and work on as much as we can during this isolation time. Mm -hmm. Before, Besides, you know, staring out the window in existential terror. <laughs> or staring at the TV in existential terror. Screaming internally <laughs> at the confusing and terrible news. Um, besides that... Uh, yeah, we're keeping busy, keeping creative, and we feel good and healthy, so we're very thankful for that. Yeah. We hope you are all doing well. Yes. Uh, we have a few friends who are sick right now, so we hope they get healthy. Um, so, best of luck to you all. Um, we have friends that are still having to work, too. Take care of your friends. Take care of people you haven't seen for a while. Make sure you're keeping contact with people who are isolated right now, because yeah. this is a very strange, confusing, and scary, scary time for a lot of people. So, uh... Yeah. Try to stay connected as much as you can. Thank don't, God for the internet. Don't buy all the fucking toilet paper. I mean, yes, it's a scary time, but they're keeping the grocery <laughs> stores open for you assholes. So fucking calm down and go there like normal people. Or get a bidet for your toilet like we did. Get a tushy bidet. That's what we got. We'll put a link down. Fun. It's really fight. We're, it's quite we're not, amazing. We're not sponsored, we're not sponsored at all. sponsored. It doesn't have the only you thing. You just I, attach it. It's the cold, only thing though. though that's nice is like the fancy like full toilet bidets. Like they heat up and they they blow your asshole dry when you're done. It's like lap luxury butthole cleaning. But you know the spray from Tushy is pretty nice and uh, you less toilet paper and gets you away from using wipes, which are horrible for the. Yeah, system. apparently. So yeah, um, so yeah. Get something to spritz your asshole. <laughs> Not sponsored. The more you know. But uh, yeah, so Otherwise, stay tuned for more yeah. stuff. And comment below if you have suggestions on things to binge watch. Like I said, we've got like all of the streaming services except for Apple. So yep. give us your recommendations or things we should do for watch parties if you'd like to join one of our watch parties maybe comment below and we'll give yeah. you the information yeah. but uh stay safe stay sane and stay healthy out there guys yep. thanks for watching bye-bye